Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a what the fuck is going on with my money reading. Okay, and this is for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Taurus Sun Moon Rising regarding your finances. What does Taurus need to know and focus on at this time regarding their finances, please? What does Taurus need to know regarding their finances? Okay, please con uh, please continue to protect us, Lord Jovers, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Someone feeling lightheaded? I'm feeling like somebody's not really eating or drinking water. I feel like you're ready to pass out. going on with Taurus's finances, please? All right, so let's see. We have here four of swords. Okay. And the king of cups. Okay, so it's general reading. It doesn't have to be gender specific. Okay, but the king of cups here, this is a water sign person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be someone that is in touch with their feelings. Um, very emotional person. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I'm feeling like some of you may feel exiled from this person financially. Maybe this person had cut you off? So let me get one more card in here. One more card for Taurus's finances, please. Okay, they said no, so we're just going to have to rely on the Oracle cards. That's fine. Okay, so for some of you, somebody, this King of Cups has cut you off, or this King of Cups energy has cut you off financially. And for others, I'm feeling that you... You are in a place of where you're feeling exiled and alone. And this person is going to come in and assist you. But feeling more for more of you, it's this person that has cut you off. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some more cards here. Can you please clarify the four of swords? And the King of Cups energy for Taurus. Where you may have cut someone off. Now I know you're an earth sign, but you, you may have cut somebody off that you love. That doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. Or could be you got cut off maybe from work, so you're just home alone. And this was a job that you loved, or the person that was your manager or boss was a water sign person, or you guys just got along really well, you had a good relationship, you got cut off from work, so that's what's going on with your finances now, you're just like at home, taking a break. Okay, everyone's on a different path, so it's going to resonate with everyone differently, just make sure you pull from this what, what makes sense to you. Okay, so we have here past life. So this uh, King of Cups energy, this is someone you know from a past life. Okay, we have Mother Earth here. I don't get this one often, so I do have to look it up. So let's see. 
Sometimes the messages just come through, depending on the reading, and then other times, not so much. Okay, so this is assists in connecting to the heart of Mother Earth and in receiving her healing energy. Okay, so healing financially allows an opening to receive and nurture yourself, holds you deep in love as you explore childhood issues and assists in identifying trauma carried from the womb. Okay, so I'm feeling that this, in regards to this reading, is going to be you healing Financially, some of you may even be homesick because it says here allows an opening to receive and nurture yourself. It could also be that you guys have been overworked. You've been spending a lot of time working and now that you're you're not working, that you're let go at home, now you have time to actually just relax and love yourself, okay, and focus on yourself and heal whatever issues it may be that you need to heal from, okay. And then we have cycles here. So you may have to work on some cycles that you've been repeating. Okay, and that could be like a past life issue that you need to work on in this life. And that's why that's coming out also. Because the strong matches, I know this is a financial read, but the only thing I'm seeing right now for financial is that you're just, you're staying home from work. So you're probably, like everybody else, just home quarantined. You got let go from the job for now. And now you're being told, this is the time. Like I, Because I don't see an issue financially, for those of you that this resonates, there is no issue financially. So right now, you probably got money saved. You're set. You're fine. Um, you may even be getting paid while staying home. So that's why there is no financial issue here. It's just this time is meant for you to be home and work on yourself and heal yourself from whatever past life trauma issues or cycles that you've been repeating in this life okay so let's see what are the messages do we have for Taurus regarding the finances okay what other issues uh, what, yeah oh a romantic cycle begins okay Okay, what does Taurus need to know regarding your finances? A time for healing. See, what did I just say? Now the cards have confirmed this. It is a time for healing for you. Okay, financially you're fine for those that this resonates with. It's a time for healing. Look at the bigger picture with full moon and Sagittarius here. Okay. And a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Okay, so your finances seem to be fine. You need to heal yourself. And once you heal yourself, then a new romantic cycle can begin. And that could also be why we have cycles here for some of you. Okay, because we have different moon phases here. We have full moon and then new moon. So full moon in Sagittarius, new moon in Libra. Look up to see when those um, times are, because this is still a timeless reading. And uh, there may be a Sagittarius or a Libra involved. If not, it just could be um, from the next full moon cycle to that following new moon is when you may meet this uh, new person or just start this romantic cycle. It might be with somebody that you already know. All right, so let's see. This also gives time, you know, to get out there and let, you know, all of this that's going on be resolved a little bit better because nobody's going anywhere right now. So let's see. What other messages do we have for Taurus? from your archangels and your animals. The last shuffle, what messages do we have for Taurus? Okay, thank you. Goat, act from your innate wisdom. Archangel Permaliac and Pan, God of Nature. Okay. All right. So that is all I have for you, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.